wind erosion water erosion so as you know water erosion means water is not eroding land is eroding due to action of water land is eroding due to action of wind due to action of wind so now one can understand you see due to action of water so when you see when uh, the soil is in touch with water so it, it is many times naturally the rain rainfall rainfall so that's why uh, we are trying to say that whenever heavy rainfall whenever you see torrential uh, sometimes you see we are in coastal region we used to observe rain for entire day also we have such type of situation also uh, sometimes this rainfall is incessant we may expect incessant rainfall so continuous rainfall so where you see uh, there is a absolutely action of rainfall on slope so that may leads to erosion ultimately erosion leads to either face failure okay sea pace sea pace someone can uh, tell me what is sea pace you see here i have an amendment so i had a amendment this is a finite slope so now you see there is a ingress of water maybe due to rainfall or maybe due to any stream adjacent to it okay so there is a sea pace loss there is a sea pace loss now what is happening now to inside inside the embankment uh, the embankment soil loses its shear strength because once pore water pressure is increasing effective stress will be decreases once effective stress decreases what will happen to shear strength of soil what is shear strength of soil according to coulomb because we are believing coulomb's theory we are believing coulomb's theory uh, for determining shear strength in case of slope stability s is equal to c plus sigma tan phi let me tell you once again S is S means shear strength of soil. C means cohesion. Phi means angle of internal friction. But let me tell you, this is strictly speaking. Once the Tejagis Tejagis idea, he won't accept shear strength is a function of normal stress. He never accept that statement. So Professor Tejagis is always saying shear strength is a function of effective stress. So he is always trying to highlight that he is always he is not blaming Coulomb's theory. He is amending the Coulomb's theory. He is respecting Coulomb's theory, but the original he is always trying to say that the original stress exists in soil masses, not total stress, effective stress. What is effective stress? Sigma dash is equal to sigma minus u. What is sigma total stress? What is u for water? You see once. Uh, moisture is ingress water is ingressed into the soil pore water pressure is building up pore water pressure is building up so once pore water pressure is building what is what could be happen now what could be happen so soil shear strength will be reduces once the strength is reducing what the stability is in question now so now this uh, slope will be fails so we are suddenly closing the canal so that means you see so there is sudden drawdown sudden garden your full supply, supply level is becomes empty so now there is a problem to slope many times many slopes especially canal slopes fail because of sudden drop sudden drawdown this this leads to slope failure slope failure so if canal running full so on the next day you are suddenly closing the canal then this slope you see the reason i will tell you i will tell you what um, what happened in soil actually this is soil so once it is running full it is in saturated condition it is in saturated condition and not only saturated because it is running full and to be frank saturated and water is there so water is above this soil that means you see uh, the your soil not only saturated the right word is submerged so now your slope is submerged one once canal running full canal runs full 
soil is in submerged condition. Okay, now canal empty suddenly. So then we can expect sudden drawdown condition. So what happened now in this canals runs full, we expect submerged condition. The West slope is submerged. Now you suddenly you remove the water in in the canal. So suddenly we have regulating the head regulator. So you just stop the flow of water at the entry level. Now uh, continuously you see what happened now. The canal level reaches down. So you, you cannot say it is at full supply supply level. Sometimes we see dead storage also in canal. So what I am trying to say. So if it is suddenly empty. Suddenly empty. So what happened this. It is in submerged condition. Once it is canal runs full. Now suddenly empties. It is now reached into saturated condition. Suddenly, its density is changed from gamma dash to from gamma dash to gamma set. So now, uh, if you see here, uh, gamma dash is lesser value. I told you, gamma dash. If you see, uh, let me assume it is approximately ten. Gamma set is approximately twenty kilonewton per meter. You can ask me, sir, how you are saying because gamma dash is gamma set minus gamma w. Gamma dash means gamma submerged. Gamma set minus gamma w. 20 minus 10. I'm just making nearly 10. 9.81 is I just made it 10. So 20 minus 10 is 10. So you just imagine now the unit weight is drastically increases. It is 10, then it is running full. Now it is become 20. You know, as the weight is Drastically increases, what will happen? The slope will be fall down. Once the weight is increasing, the slope is in struggle for long duration. Long duration. So, this is also one reason for failure of slopes. So, this can be avoided by providing proper dryness. Can you not tell me? Providing proper dryness system. Next. So, at the quick. Sometimes the earth is taking revenge, okay, on earth, on a, uh, okay, on a habitat. Uh, so because of mismanagement of earth. So next six, this is very important. Uh, construction activities near to the slope. Construction activities near to the slope. Manatilu of Samit Chapter, Pakanam de Goita Vadadad. 